So we're upstairs at the shelter for men. We've got over 250 beds like this. People are going to be in tonight, but what I want to look at today, we're going to show you how do people come inside for a winter night? What's it like when they get here? What time do they come in? Um, so we're going to go by the front door and we're going to look at and see what it's like to come in on a night during the winter at Wheeler Mission. All right, so it's nighttime here. We're at the shelter for men. Winter night, what does it look like? So we have periods throughout the day where people can come inside. We have 250 beds inside. When we run out of bed space, we will put people in space where we can get them inside. Right now it's cold outside. We're going to go in the front door here. Uh, about 7.30 uh, in the evenings, uh, we'll start letting people in for the night. They can come in and get warm, get shelter. So they come through this area through our security, check in here, and we'll come in through the, the front door. So one of the things we make sure is that it's, a, it's safe inside, right? So we make sure that everything that comes in is safe. That way all of our guests are safe and they're taken care of throughout the evening. So we're expecting about 350 uh, people to stay with us every single night this winter. All right, we're gonna go on inside. This is our day room. We're gonna find some, some places to get warm, find some food too. All right, anybody who needs to get up with uh, the elevator, we have an elevator just to make sure um, anyone who's handicapped or can't get up the stairs can get upstairs. A lot of our beds are upstairs, so the elevator is super important for us. All right, one of the things you'll see in our shelter for men is um, different murals and pictures and jerseys from people that are from the Colts, the Pacers. We've got great relationships with the area teams uh, that support us. And so we really want to make sure that when people are staying at our shelter, they realize that the community is behind them. So you'll see a lot of uh, memorabilia from, from teams and organizations around the community. All right, so every night here at the Shelter for Men, really at all of our facilities, we serve a lot of meals. So over a thousand meals a day are served. During the winter, this is a super important part of what we do. And so we're just cleaned up for dinner tonight, uh, but we'll get wrap it up for next, uh, the next couple nights as well. So right here, We've got one of our volunteers who came out and served served um, dinner tonight, right? So yes, how, many, how many did we serve tonight? How many did we serve? We served 150 tonight. 150 people tonight. And so how was it? Did it go smooth? How, how'd it go? Everything went smooth. Everything went smooth. Everything went smooth. So 150 tonight. Um, again, 1,000 meals a day across all of our ministries. So that happens right here, right at our shelter for men. But any of our facilities, you'll see a busy kitchen. Uh, right now, again, volunteers already serve the meals. They've already cleaned up. But every single night we'll be here throughout the winter to make sure everybody's taken care of. Everyone who, who's coming inside will be served. And uh, we're excited to take care of as many people as possible. So again, thank you for caring. Thank you for supporting Wheeler Mission. We couldn't do it without your support. We're here this winter. We're taking care of as many people as possible, and uh, we just couldn't be more grateful for your support. Thank you.